you've t I've heard you talk some in recent years about like reassessing just your life values yep. and like making a li list. Uh, first off, what led to the the reassessment, and then why don't you just like share some of those? Yep, absolutely. So, you know, I don't know to what. What depth you're you can, wanting to go yeah, into? Yeah, you can it, say but... anything you want. Okay. You would want, like, out on the internet. Yeah. You know? And, you know, the internet is a broad place. It's mm -hmm. probably who you sh who I choose to share it with. <laughs> but what's funny is that I've heard that um, uh, listening to other mm -hmm. YouTube channels that are, give advice for starting a YouTube channel, they yep. said, the good news is, like, none of your family or friends are going to watch your channel. Yeah, <laughs> unless you, like, really <laughs> peddle it to them. Yeah. And that's absolutely been the case is like mm -hmm. if if I put something out unless I like directly share it with my family, like no one watches it. Yeah. Which is fine. Because you're you're trying to build a like actually interested specific audience, uh -huh. which isn't always your family. <laughs> yes. So to a little backstory there is I kind of had two uh cumulative events that are they're both related to each other. So I I got divorced and then um kind of coinciding with that divorce, I was a like practicing Protestant Christian. And mm -hmm. at this point, I would call myself a hopeful agnostic. Mm -hmm. And so I think being back, back to what I said before is I tend to be at least somewhat philosophical about life. So if you lose two of these pillars that you've kind of upheld as this like pedestal of mm -hmm. what life is about or how to live your life, then it leaves you scrambling a bit. And I felt like I needed to redefine some of those things for myself. So that began a journey of trying to figure out what I have been calling my life philosophy, which has been uh, this year, we're probably on like year three of trying to figure it out and then trying to like refine the pieces as, as I go through it mm -hmm. and to varying degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Very fair. I, I'm sure we're in similar spots too of like, uh, I don't know, though usually the terms that I've described is I, I kind of fluctuate between a, between being an agnostic with Christian leanings or yeah. like a Christian with agnostic leanings. But um, yeah, over at the end of the day, just where I'm just like, I'm just going to live a life based on what makes sense yep. and what seems to um, bring the most human flourishing. And because yep. I've seen enough of everyone has their own take on what they believe this yeah. or that religiously. And, and I think it's, it's not just a materialism to say, I'm only going to believe what I can test and experience. Cause like experience is very mystical and spiritual. It's Absolutely. not just like I'm sitting in a room thinking up of my life philosophy. That's totally devoid of any sort of, uh, spirituality or like openness to yep. all sorts of things that I don't understand in the universe. Um, yeah. But just being cautious of when those things seem to be, when those beliefs or lifestyles seem to hurt more people than they help. Yep. That's why it's like, eh, I don't know about that. I'm yep. out. Uh, I'm skeptical. Um, yep. 